John Stroud was a Royal Navy steward on HMS Glamorgan during the Falklands War. He was just 20 years old when he set sail from Portsmouth to Gibraltar before being diverted to the Falklands. In the last days of the war on June 12th, John was in the galley of the Glamorgan when the Argentine Exocet missile skidded across the deck and exploded, killing him and 12 other sailors just two days before the war ended. John's deployment to the Falklands was set to be his last before returning home to his wife Jean and their eight-month-old son John Paul. But sadly, he never came home. John, John was always laughing, joking. He he would just do anything for anybody. Um, I remember one time he went out. Seems like I always eat food, but he went out to the chip shop and brought someone else back with him. And he's going, well, I've got to talk to this person and he's got nowhere to stay so he can stay with us tonight. <laughs> he would have done anything for anybody, loved his music, played guitar. Over 32 years on since the death of John and his widow Jean Stroud Mort has finally decided to make the emotional trip to the islands to remember her husband who died serving his country. I just needed to know in my, I needed to get it straight. Some people, like said, I don't see why you need to go now. You've got married again, you've had other children. Um, and I just think they're a bit rude because in my, they haven't been where I've been. And it's in, it's in my head where I know that I need, I need to come and see exactly. Because you people say, well, you have closure, but you don't have closure either. It's just something that happened in your life. And you, you need to see what it was all about. And that's what I needed to do. Jean had always wanted to make the journey south to see what it was her husband had died for all those years ago. She had planned it meticulously and finally her thoughts became a reality. Yes, I wanted to go to John's tree because all 255 people that were killed have their own tree in Memorial Wood. I'd only seen pictures of it. Um, I needed to go and see John's tree because obviously that's part of that's really keeping part of John going. So I've been to see that, and that was just surreal. It was like, yeah. Um, also wanted to go and see the Glamorgan Memorial because, in my mind, that's where it happened. That's where the Exit missile was fired from the back of a lorry, which in my head I had a different thing of going on. I just thought, oh, back of a lorry, how they can get it there, but it was. And that spot, that was really hard. I found that, I think, hardest of anything because I knew that was the last place John was alive, six miles from where I was stood. Yeah, that, that, that was really hard. Jean was supported on her visit to the Falklands by her now husband, Les Mort, who has remained by her side throughout the journey and will continue to do so for years to come. Well, yes, we, we, we have a very good marriage. We've been married uh, going on for 22 years now. But obviously I understand what happened and now she, she lost John. And I will, I will always support her no matter what. I mean, we've been to Portsmouth, we've been to London, we've been to the Arboretum. And this is like the ultimate sort of journey to pay respects to John. And I, I do respect, you know, and I understand that Jean very hard to lose somebody and I don't know I don't know how she's coped to be honest uh, and I'm just here for her if I can help her I will always do it. Visiting the Falklands was something Jean had always vowed to do not only to honour John's death but to understand what it was all for. I probably in my head which I shouldn't have said I shouldn't say but I have to say it if, when your husband's just been killed you just think but why it's so far away. That's being honest. Now I've been here um, and I have been speaking to people, I just think, wow, what an amazing place and the people. And I thought about what they'd been through. In my head, I just knew what I'd been through. I didn't think at all what they'd been through. And I've heard little stories and little snippets of people. I'm thinking, yeah, they, they were held prisoner and they were held like, on a curfew and people with guns and you don't think of, you didn't think of that 
but now it's made me see both sides and it's it's what I needed to do it's yeah both Jean and Les started this journey in the hope of getting answers but instead they left with wonderful memories Sophie Dolson reporting for FITV News